My senior thesis is a short film titled Basement Level. I think it makes most sense when I explain this production to start at the beginning of the semester with the conception of this idea. I had, just a couple months prior, landed a full-time job at a media management company in Stanford, Connecticut. And going into this class, I knew my time for production would be limited by this. I theorized many other ideas for films, but all of which seemed to come with their faults considering the pandemic and time constraints. The night before I had to present an idea, my girlfriend and I were watching a documentary about the Cecil Hotel in the case of Elisa Lam. If you're unfamiliar, there was a strange disappearance in 2013 of a Canadian national at an infamous Los Angeles hotel. The last known sighting was through elevator cam footage showing her acting bizarre and frantic. This sparked many conspiracy theories, one of which was that she was playing the elevator game, which is a Korean ritual akin to something like Bloody Mary in the US. So, learning about this story, and while at the same time working in an office building with a creepy elevator, led me to the creation of Basement Level. I thought of the plot within minutes of coming to this idea, wrote the script, and started searching for actors. Not knowing many actors, I posted online to Backstage and found a cast of actors who were willing to work for free. My inspiration for this project came primarily from learning about the case of Elisa Lam. I also took inspiration from elements of horror I enjoy in some of my favorite films and television shows. For instance, The Conjuring series and their dark editing and the element of storytelling, as well as American Horror Story Hotel and Train to Busan. Some of my favorite horror producers, like Jordan Peele or Ari Aster, also inspired me to make a short within the genre. As far as production equipment, I used a Canon T7i to record the bulk of the footage and used my Galaxy S10e for some pickup shots as well as the elevator security cam shot. I planned on using a boom mic for most of the audio, but unfortunately it wasn't working properly the day of the shoot. Thankfully, I had a road mic mounted to the Canon, which captured almost all of the footage turned into the film. I also went back later and used an H4 to capture the elevator sounds. All editing for this project was done in Adobe Premiere Pro, as well as some other Adobe products such as After Effects and Audition. For this film, I wanted to create a reality-bending experience, taking ordinary locations and turning them into horrifying situations. One of the ways I attempted to do this was using sounds from my office elevator, like the AI voice, and distorting them. I also used spatial surroundings to my advantage, like utilizing the elevator monitor with a green screen over it to mimic a security cam feed. Visually, I tried to edit each scene with low shadows and high contrasts to warp the everyday office setting into something dark. There was definitely a few ethical issues for this production. The day of production for the shoot did not go so well. Although I had permission from my company to film on the premises, I was told to not seek out permission from the building owners as to not draw attention to such an innocent senior project. This led to an unfortunate situation in which an alarm went off and notified the police station, leading to me being questioned and my business having to pay a fine for sending off a false alarm. In collaboration, I asked one of my coworkers who has been in the film industry a long time. He was planning on acting for the minor role of the coworker as well. However, days before we were set to shoot, he had to step out due to possible corona exposure. From then, I asked a couple of my younger coworkers to step in, and I was able to get their help for the first half of the day. My actors were also very collaborative, giving script suggestions and ad libs, many of which made it into the film. We also all had to work together for the second day of production in the apartment when my main actor called in sick. We improvised through the situation and did the whole scene over FaceTime changing the script and plot as we went. All in all, for how truly awful this production went in my eyes, I'm actually quite satisfied with the final product that I'm able to showcase. And I gained a lot of invaluable experience with video production and editing that I will continue to polish.